Hi everyone, I uh, just thought it'd be useful to put together a little bit of a video explaining some basic sparring uh, concepts, uh, some combinations and also our basic stance. Uh, this can be useful for everybody, uh, mainly beginners who are going to be level 2 soon when they start doing their, their kumite or sparring. Uh, so what we're going to do is really we're going to build in the four laws of focus to this. Okay, We should be building this into everything that we do here at our school, at home and at your schools as well. Okay, uh, so. First thing that I want you to be aware of is the stance that we need to stand in. So it's not going to be a traditional front stance like this, and I'll do it towards the camera so you can see a little bit better. It's not going to be like your traditional stance here. Okay, you're going to start off normally in ready position and just put your left leg forward. Okay, and your hands up at the same time you're going to stand sideways on. Okay, I'm a smaller target this way. It's to avoid basically anybody uh, hitting your vital organs here. So if you stand side on, Someone has to do a round technique here, it's going to be a little bit slower than a straight technique. Okay, so you're much more protected here. Okay, so your basic stance is this one leg forward, roughly uh, like, like you're in front stance here, uh, but just a bit more relaxed. Keep your hands up, use your focus with your body and know where your feet are, know where your hands are as well. They need to be up here to protect yourself. Okay, I'm just going to bounce like this. Now, what might be useful is that you watch this video and then start it from the beginning and pause it at times like this so that you can practice, okay? So if you're practicing at home now, I want you to do this with me, okay? So all we're gonna do, have your left leg forward, hands up, and nice bouncy stance. We're just gonna hold that for five seconds, four, three, two, one, okay? Now try and stay nice and low on your stance as well. That's gonna improve your speed, your timing, and really it's going to help you focus a little bit better in the sparring combinations, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do, we're just going to do five with me. Your front arm punch. It can be to the face, it can be to the body. But what I want you to bear in mind is that the, the main sort of aspect of sparring is that you show good self-control. We're not here to hurt each other, we're here to learn from each other, okay? So, get into your good stance. Let's do five together of your front arm. So copy me. One. Two. Three, four, five. Okay, I'm relaxed. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is pause this video and do five on your own. Okay, without my help. You can rewind and watch it again just to improve your confidence with this. But the more you practice, the better you will get. Okay. So let's move on to the next technique. This time, instead of your front arm, you're going to use your back arm. Not some twisting into the techniques as well. You want to try and cover some distance. Your opponent is never going to stand still. In the same way that we're not going to stand still when we're in our stance as well. Okay? So we're always going to be moving. Try and be a moving target. And we're just going to do five of these techniques with each other. Okay? So let's do five together. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay? And same as before, I want you to pause this video now and do five on your own. Again, the more you practice, the better you'll get at this, okay? So, so far we've learned front arm, back arm, at the same time keeping our stance nice and strict, but also loose and relaxed as well. Keep your hands up at all times. Now, the next technique we're gonna do is our front leg roundhouse kick, okay? As I said before, round techniques are a little bit slower, but this is very, very good for sparring because you can throw it a little bit easier than other kicks. Okay, so all I'm going to do, good stance. I'm just going to show you a couple before we do them together. We're just going to do our front leg today. We're just going to skip up, so step up, turn your body. This leg is going to come up, and you're just going to hit the pad with the top of your foot here, where you tie your shoelaces. So I'll do one more. I'm going to bounce nice and light. Skip up, lift that leg up, roundhouse kick. Not so my hands are staying up at all time. Firstly for balance, but also to protect myself as well. Okay, so let's do five together. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now pause this video once more. Practice that in your own in your own time, and again, the more you do this, the better you will get, the more confident you will feel. If you're using the four laws of focus in this, it will really, really help you when you come down to our school and practice. Okay, so let's just quickly recap. Nice bouncy stance, keep your hands up, okay, relaxed as well. You don't want to be so stiff, okay, nice and relaxed. Front arm, 
back arm, front leg, roundhouse kick. Once you feel comfortable and you feel more confident, you can start building uh, some combinations together with all of those techniques. So we can do things like our front arm, then our back arm. We could possibly do back arm, front leg, roundhouse kick. Still keep your stance nice and light. Use your forelegs of focus all the time, okay, guys? So have fun practicing and good luck, everybody. Keep together. Hey, us. Thank you.